So this beautiful horseradish I wanted to show you is from my family's garden. And this is what I'm going to be using today, but not nearly as much as big as this root is for our um, relish slash weird paste thing that's amazing for your immune system and your sinuses. So I just wanted to show you the full thing because I thought it was beautiful. Hello. As you can see, this beautiful horseradish here. Today, we're going to make a relish slash paste with around two cups of horseradish and also wash your hands before you start because I did that right before I started this video and you may be wondering why horseradish helps you with coughs it helps your breathing it makes you get that mucus out and in these times that is what we need to do so I recommend probably just having a little bit of this right before you go to the grocery store so you only need four ingredients. This is the horseradish. Like I said earlier, I get, I'm guessing about two cups. That's why I have a lot more over here. Well, you're also going to need um, either a really high speed blender or a food processor because this stuff is really tough. And um, I should have cut it smaller. But let me see if I can do that real quick. Put these parts in. I might have to just put some in, blend some water, put some more in. Could be a little tedious, but it's worth it. Um, just don't touch your eyes while you do this all. And um, when you, if you eat a lot of this and you go to the bathroom, it might hurt your ass. Okay, so here's some more. Now, I'm gonna pour some water in here. And there's no exact recipe, it's more so to your taste and etc., which I will continue about later, but let's do some blending. All right, so, that's the start. We're gonna add, we're gonna keep adding more. And I'm going to cut off some sections that I didn't... Whoa! Whoa! Okay. I just cut into this and the fumes are really strong. I don't know why I cut it earlier and didn't smell that, but that just hit me like a ton of bricks. Mm. So, and it is actually in the wasabi family, I believe, and it reminds me of wasabi. And I love wasabi, but I don't have a lot of experience eating horseradish, so I hope that it turns out good. I'm going to rinse these two parts real quick because they have mud in them, so that will probably be edited out. So, hold on. Um, in case you didn't see the beginning clip and you're wondering why is there so much mud in here, um, yes, it was from a garden, so bear with me. I'm going to put more water in now because there's a lot. Whoa, it's getting, I smell it. I'm going to keep blending this bad boy for a long time. I'm going to now add more water. And I also see a lot at the bottom, so what I'm going to do is kind of poke some down here to make sure I don't put too much water in, but I need this to blend well. Do, do, do. Do up, do up. I need more water. You know when you just have like this one or two chunks that just like keeps going up to the top and then you're like, like please blade get these and then, yeah. Woo! 
So I have too much, so I'm going to try taking some out of money and also who needs this much horseradish. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna save this chunk for another time because I clearly have made too much and I'm going to wrap this chunk up. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but for now it's going over here. I'm going to rinse my hands because they're actually burning. I'm going to blend this last little bit. But we're almost done here, so don't worry. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. <sighs> okay. It's already hard for me to breathe. Um, I mean, not hard for me to breathe, but it. I'm feeling it. fumes are taking me on a journey. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's finally all blended 10 minutes later and then some, whoa, 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 it's already causing me to snot up. I guess I need to clean out too. Um, it will look around, it will look like this and I can't even touch my face right now because it's causing me um, discomfort because the fumes are so strong. Anyway, um, so then we're gonna let it sit for like five minutes because the longer you let it sit, crazy, right? Listen to this, the hotter it continues to get. So when we, I mean, if you're like, I don't want it any hotter right now, I, this is the hottest I can go, then you can go ahead and do the next steps, which will be the apple cider vinegar and salt. But I'm gonna wait five minutes on mine so that it gets a little hotter and then I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna clean up. But these two agents stop it from keeping getting spicier, if I said that right. So, I will see you back here in five minutes and I will add those ingredients and we will finish this together. Okay, so now that it's been five minutes and I'm taking a brief rest from being right in front of this and it's straining my eyes, time to add the salt and the apple cider vinegar raw with the mother. I might end up having to use the rest of this because this ended up making, making way more than I anticipated. But this is my first time making this. I just got this recipe from my sister so that I know it is an amazing recipe. I just have never made it. Okay. So I'm just going to pour some salt on the top. But I can always add more later because I'd rather start with too little than too much. And I'm going to pour this in. Hopefully it will stop that spice. Whoa, woo! Finished a little bit for now. So we're gonna go blending and blending again. Because it was such a huge ass root, it still has one small spot that doesn't want to blend. And um, I'm gonna add a little more salt because I just personally think that it will need it. But I'm, then I'm gonna taste as to after I'm secure that it's mixed. Even though I wouldn't say scared, but I'm. Um, Probably have some water on stand, but actually, don't know why I didn't have water here. Right. I'm just closing my eyes to get a rest break from the fumes. So, I'm gonna smell it. Woo! Holy! Okay, I shouldn't have done that. Um, gonna add a little more vinegar because it's really strong and I'm gonna blend a little more and then I guess I will taste test it even though I think I should get some soy milk out. Woo! All right. All right, woo! Um, I'm gonna wash my hands because it splattered on my hands when I blended it. And they're stinging. 
There's still one tiny chunk in there, but I'll just have to fix that later because it just keeps not wanting to blend no matter what I do. So, it's gonna look a light green color like this. I'm gonna taste test a very small amount and see if I want more salt. Very small. soy milk there because it's extremely hot but the extremely hotness ended after about four seconds so I didn't have to drink soy milk so it's slightly different in that way with wasabi because wasabi lasts a little longer and it lasts in your nose just to know I believe it needs more salt so I'm gonna add more salt maybe and I'm going to add a tiny bit more vinegar. Okay, now I'm going to mix it again. Woo! It finally, finally blended that last piece. So I'm going to rinse my spoon off because I don't want to be a double dipper. And then we're going to try it again. Don't worry, I didn't cough in that. Okay. Um. Okay. That's hot. That is even hotter than wasabi in my opinion. I'm just gonna get some, I'm gonna get some soy milk out on standby right now because I'm gonna add a little more salt and then I'm gonna be done, but I think I'm going to need this, so I'm going to add one more time some salt because I personally want it to be pretty salty if it's going to be a small relish side. Don't worry, this is not going all over the place because you would be hurting when you were peeing and pooping. Alright, so I'm going to blend this baby one more time and then I think it's going to be good. And it will definitely keep your immune system up because that last bit... If I can talk, you can see it. it's a, it's infecting my speech. But the last bite made me cough, as you could tell. Um, sorry about that, but don't worry. I'm eating this, and I'm not, you know, giving it away to others. And it was here, and cough in here. So sorry, I didn't cover my mouth. Wasn't expected. And it also made my nose drip with snot. So this will clean you out, and your immune system will be super hot. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this, this is our paste. It will make a lot, depending on how much you put in. I'd suggest you doing less than me. I ended up taking out a few chunks, so only do about a cup. I'm, re I'm revising what I originally said. Only put a cup in. I'm going to taste test this baby one more time, even though I don't necessarily want to. And I'm, and... I'm gonna open my milk. That's mine alone. Nobody else is drinking it, so don't have to worry about me drinking from it. Okay. 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 I don't need that. Ooh. Woo! All right. That is that is salty enough. Um, might be smidgen over salty, so I'm just gonna call it a day. I'm going to rinse the spoon off and I'm going to now put it in a container, put it in that container of yours and it can probably store in the fridge for an extremely long time. So please eat it, please make it first and tell me in the comments if you think it's super spicy, um, if you were brave, if you say, let's say you taste test of the horseradish before you added the apple cider vinegar, but I don't think it tastes very good because there was no salt. And you were like, 
this isn't spicy at all. I'm immune to anything. And then you waited like 15 minutes to um, add these two ingredients, then let me know. And I also applause to you. And you're not the winner if you can eat the spiciest food on earth because um, that's not, you know, you don't want to destroy your esophagus and your ass. But if you can eat really spicy food, it is good for your metabolism and your immune system. And please make this and thank you for watching it. And if you want to know any other kind of videos like this, let me know. Thank you so much. Have a great day and thanks for experience making this with me. See ya.